Hello, my name is Sid Jackson and I'm the microbiology specialist at Desert Vista and today we're going to go over how to use a backed incinerator. Backed incinerators are a tool we can use to sterilize loops and needles for microbiological inoculations. We use backed incinerators in cases where we cannot use a Bunsen burner, like in rooms where uh, there are no gas outlets or inside biosafety cabinets where the airflow would uh, knock out the flame of a Bunsen burner. The parts of the backed incinerator as follows. This long metal cylinder is known as the heating mantle. Inside is where you will actually be putting the loop. This is the power area with the on off switch and the cord. And these are some small holes on the side that can be used to hold inoculating loops when not in use. The first step in using a backed incinerator is turning it on. Here you can see that we already turned it on. Uh, you'll want to turn it on about 10 to 20 minutes before you need to use it because it requires time to heat up to the proper temperature for sterilization. Once it's heated up, you can leave the backed incinerator on for hours on end, but you only want to keep it on for as long as you're using it because uh, extended time on can wear out the heating mantle. When the backed incinerator is heated up, you can take your inoculating loop and then insert it into the main central section. You want to make sure that you do not uh, scratch the sides of the mantle because that can also wear out the mantle. You leave the loop in there, making sure you push it as far into the back of the chamber as possible for about five seconds. Unlike a, back, a Bunsen burner, you do not need to have the wire glow to know that it is incinerated. Another thing you can use the backed incinerator for is to heat fix a slide to prepare it for staining. This will be different than when you heat fix using a Bunsen burner because you'll be holding it in the heat for a bit longer than you would for a Bunsen burner. To heat fix, you hold the slide in front of the opening to the mantle and hold it there for about 10 to 20 seconds depending on how thick the smear is. When you think enough time has gone by, like when you heat fix with a Bunsen burner, you can place it gently on the back of your hand. If it's hot but not burning, then you know it's been properly heat fixed. When you're finished using the backed incinerator, make sure to turn it off. It will still be hot, and so make sure that it, everyone stays away until it is cooled down. Thank you.